Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Spiritual Readiness on the Time of the Chief. I want to talk to you today as frankly as I can about something, uh, a breakthrough that I just had. And I've been struggling with this for months now. And it has to do with the fact that we, all of us 7 billion people on earth, are living in a, um, um, in 3D reality, we are holding in place the survival mentality. Everyone on the planet is trying to survive. And uh, uh, because we're doing this, we're holding a lower frequency. Now I know that the future earth is about cultivating a high emotion. And I'm working on a practice to actually anchor that understanding and that energetic um, uh, reality into my physical body. Yet simultaneously, I find that I'm straddled two realities. On the one hand, I'm still trying to survive. I have a mortgage to pay, I have rent to pay, I have all of the bills that I'm still paying on a monthly basis. And I still have to figure out a way to liberate myself from that shackle, remove it, that other truss around my neck, and figure out a way for me to step into whatever that higher emotion is for the 5D. There is not one healer or spiritual teacher that I know, and I'm being completely honest with you, that is not struggling at some point or another with their financial resources. And I'm, I'm being completely clear and completely open. And part of it has to do that even if you have money, even if you have all the client in the world, be giving the atmosphere that is being agitated by the cabal, the archon, the wetical, or whatever it is that you want to call it, we all are afraid that the resources that we have now are going to dry up. And underneath, it's causing some kind of agitation. Now, don't believe anyone online that's telling you they've, they've, everything has been going on a, on a perfect straight line, their growth and their prosperity and their happiness and their joy. It's a lie. It's, they're being inauthentic. It's not true. If you're living on this planet right now and you're looking what's going on around you from the weather phenomena, from the political, social, and more importantly, the financial uncertainties, everyone is worried about resources because we are living in a box, in a hologram that's telling us that these resources are limited. And at some point, it's going to dry up. And as it dries up, we are going to be left without. And all of us are either hoarding or trying to figure out a way to pay the debt and the, uh, 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 and, and the financial obligation that we find ourselves in. Now, having said this, what's happening to the rest of the planet? The plants, the animals. We are the only species that has to go in debt to exist on Earth. The only species that has to pay to be on Earth. Something is wrong. The rest of the planet live in a state of uh, acceptance and surrender in knowing that their needs will be provided for. They are not connected to that mentality of hoarding and trying to protect and defend the territory or the resources that they have. They are surrendering from the fact that there is a cyclical pattern that will always provide. And as this happens, they allow for themselves to move through a cycle and this, their needs are all provided for. And, and I've been, I, I, I know this intellectually and I've been struggling particularly uh, given uh, the eclipse and um, the, the, the new moon, I've been surrendering quite a bit and quite a bit and I'm like, I'm still missing something. I'm still missing. What is it that I'm missing? And it finally clicked today. It finally came down and I realized, although I'm surrendering into source, I'm going into infinity times infinity, and I know that it's not about money. It's not about money. Because even if you have all the resources in the world and you were still afraid and in fear of losing it, you will still be in survival. God knows I've met plenty of people like this when I went to athletic schools. But the, the, the thing that it is about really is this. We are 
what, what we should be concerned, the thing that we should be really concerned about is understanding that it's not, when, you're, when you have a lack, and I do this with healing easy for me, when, when, I am, when I'm taking a client into source and I'm trying to provide them support for healing, I surrender them into endlessness. And as I do this, I surrender them. I allow for the perpetual renewal and healing and the endless repair to come to them. And their uh, 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 recovery are often instantaneous. Why is it that I can do this with healing, but I have a problem to do this when it comes to my own financial resources? I know I was carrying a program, a very uh, uh, false um, a negative program from me receiving. And I'm, I've unrooted quite a bit of that out, uh, where that came from, from a religious upbringing that says resources are limited. Therefore, I can't receive from anybody. I have to push all the gifts away uh, because otherwise people will have to go without. It is untrue. That belief system is false because everything comes from that endlessness. Money, health, happiness, prosperity, joy, everything comes from that same one source. And what finally came for me today, that clicked and went deep inside of me, because I kept on trying to find the one thing, the root cause that will hold, conceptually for me, the idea of allowing this thing in. And it finally clicked for me, it's prana. Call it vital life force, call it chi, call it qui, call it whatever you want, noose, it's, it's prana. And the moment I got this, I understood that I was, because as long as I'm not allowing prana into me, I am trying to solve the problems that I see as survival problem out of my own personal resources. Because in two weeks time, I have to pay this bill. Or in a week time, I have to pay the mortgage. And I have to assemble the money. I have to figure out a way to do this. And as I'm worried about this, I'm using my own resources. But when you begin to realize it's not the client, it's not the money in the bank, that, that's not the source of the energy that you need. Because money is energy. It's a symbol for energy. The, 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 the true source is prana, which is everywhere. There is not one place in the universe where there is no prana. It's abundant, it, it, it exists even in between the, the space that exists between the cells in our body. And the moment I understood it was prana that I was, I was trying, because there's a part of you that, you know, we're living on earth, the, the real to do, I have, I have to pay the bill, how much do I have in my bank account, and I have to do this, and, I, and when we're worried about all of this, we disconnect with the fact that we have to let go of the concern to a degree. You have to, of course, be, it's, it's fine line. You have to worry because you, know, you, you have to do your, your budget and figure out exactly what you're supposed to be paying. But on the other hand, you also have to surrender and realize that the, the source, the real source of the flow that I need, financially, health-wise, happiness, joy, the flow that I need is prana. And if I can allow the prana to come to me, it will not only repair my physical body and my cellular structure, but it will provide me with the financial resources, with everything else that I need. And I will disconnect to the lack and the fear of survival and allow myself to move into endlessness, perpetual renewal, and continuous repair for everything. My finances, my health, my uh, uh, happiness, my joy, and my uh, overall uh, 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 um, growth and evolution. And the moment I realized this, I was sitting down in meditation, my stomach literally growled for 10 minutes. My dentien, all kinds of things were being detached from this. Because finally, I found the one concept that I was missing, 
and I knew something was missing. I just couldn't figure it out. That that I'm 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 not allowing something in. I'm trying. I, I know this intellectually. I know that. I know this. I but but what am I missing? If I can allow the prana in and allow it to settle in my body and in all of the you know the worried about paying this bill and this that or the other or I, I can do it for healing in a flash. Like, I, I can do deep healing for someone in 10 minutes where they are walking out all the pain, everything is gone. And yet, what holding, was holding me back is that there's a part of me that's trying to solve the problem in this real world and trying to count resources and saying, okay, I can take this money from this account and move it here, I can do this, I can... And as I do this, I get myself trapped in trying to do it myself and I disconnect to the flow of the prana. So I have to exist between the two things. On the one hand, I have to make sure that I'm doing all of this, create my budget and understand where the resources are coming. But on the other hand, I have to surrender ultimately the desire to survive and pay all of these bills and remove the debt to source and allow, on the other hand, the prana to come in and flow into me and watch the miracles change your life. I hope you found this video instructive. Um, please like this video, give it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and uh, uh, share this if you feel like it. And uh, I'll talk to you next time. Thank you.